Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Gemini. Hi Gemini. Welcome to your March 2014, 15. I keep saying 14, I think I said it. <laughs> but it is March 2015 as we know. Terascope mini astrology reading, I mean not mini astrology, animal totem reading. I'm trying something new with the camera angle. This is the setup that I use for the um, for my keyboard stuff. I'm using a boom mic stand. It's kind of jerry-rigged, but it seems to work. So people were saying they couldn't see the cards from the side, so we're going to give it a roll like this and see, see if this is any better. Okay, so Gemini, let me shuffle up these cards for you for... We're doing the month of March, 2015. You know, I keep wanting to say May. And, uh, here, this wants to come out. Um, and look what's showing up here, Earth sign stuff, which is May Taurus, could be. But we, this is for this month. Like, it, I said this in a couple of the other readings, I think. It's, it's like, if I were doing a personal reading for you, and I'm, and I'm hearing May, and I'm showing up all these Earth signs, then I would definitely say something's happening in May. Because uh, in a personal reading, I'm not restricted to stay within one month's uh, guidelines. But in this case, uh, we really are. But you know what I just came to mind is, I believe we are having, no, it's a Virgo. We're having on March uh, 5th, there is a Virgo full moon. So that could be relevant for a lot of you because that Virgo is an earth sign. So that could be what we're talking about over here. But at any rate, um, you know, you got people. There's some people showing up in your spread. And everybody's in the upright position, which that's nice. That's a very nice thing to say. I'm just going to get up and make sure everything's in frame. I think we're going to have to come down a little bit. Because I think on one of them, I, some stuff was out of frame. So I'm going to work with this uh, new layout, and hopefully it'll we'll get it together here. All right, so th here it is. We've got page, knight, king of pentacles. All the pentacle cards are present except the queen. So we're definitely talking about some earth sign people here. Maybe different people. Maybe it's all the same people. Often I will say that it could be the same person. Especially uh, when you get these, it could show passage of time. Especially the, the, the uh, knight and the king. It's usually a person that you knew when they were younger and then you, you know them now. Sometimes it'll go like this. Sometimes it's like, oh, they were really cool when they were younger, now they're kind of a jerk, you know. Or or they were kind of a jerk when they were younger, da, da, da. But, you know, when they show in the upright position, this is somebody of long standing, somebody that you have known for a very long time, and, you, and there's trustworthy is what I, a word I want to use in this uh, instance. If, it, if you don't know them, it could also be talking about the future. You may meet them now, and then there's still going to be a solid force in your life many years down the road. Sometimes I'll, I'll throw out 20 years could be the difference between a knight and a king. So this is long-standing. This is also can tie into financial stuff because we do have a lot. Their pentacles are the money cards. It's the coin. It's the pentacle. It's the money. This is somebody, uh, and, and it is a male entity in the in this spread, but I'm going to say it can be male or female with these general readings because it's just so many people we can't. If it were a personal reading, I would totally tell you that this was a man, though. Um, there's something about it that there's, you've got this ten of uh, rods in reverse. This says a load is lifted off your back. So there's some kind of relief coming of a burden that you've been carrying around, and it does feel like a lot of stress. It does feel like a lot of people are just coming to help you. I mean, they really are. I think you have to keep a bright attitude. That's key for you guys this month, all right? King of Swords, I'm going to say, is you. Air sign person. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So this would be the Gemini, you. You're in the upright position, and you're looking at the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is a fantastic card. It is fate and destiny. It is things falling in sync, timing being right, things working out uh, to your benefit. Um, and it's the right path for you. Half the battle in this life is just getting on the right path, I swear to God. 
you know, it, it, it's, it's, we just get off our path, off of our soul plan and stuff like that. So you, you're looking in the direction of the Wheel of Fortune, but it, it almost seems like you feel like there's it's ins something insurmountable. That, oh, yeah, this was, if, if, if uh, all things being equal, or if money didn't matter, if whatever, if what I really wanted to do would be this. But Five of Swords is always a card of, no, you can't, it's an impasse. It's always an obstruction or an impasse or, or something that you, an obstacle that seems insurmountable that you can't get over. So the King of Swords, you, looks over at Wheel of Fortune, but there's, in your mind, I feel like it's in your mind, that you, you're feeling like, um, oh, but I could just never have that. No, I, I, well, I would love to do that, but I, how can I, you know? And then we start rolling on all the excuses of why we can't have that. Well, I can't because I've got to do this, this, and this, and this, blah, 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 blah. And it's never going to happen. Or I, I don't see a way out of this. It's like you can't, some of you, maybe you can't see a way out of it. But it just seems like all these people are coming in to help you. Because there's a King of Cups coming in to help you, too. King of Cups could be Water Sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or occurring in the time of water, which we are. March is Pisces. So we are in the water, sign of water in, 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 the, in uh, March, you know, for the majority of the month until the 20th. So there's lots of people that are around that could be helpful to you. These guys are going to lift the load off your back. He's also tied into some money here, too. I mean, the Page of Pentacles, again, could be a person, but most of the time I will use the pages as messengers. And the Page of Pentacles is the messenger. He brings the money. That's what he does. Okay? So the Page of Pentacles brings the money. Um, you're worried. There just seems to be a lot of worrying here, and it's, it's based on your past experiences. It's based on things that have gone wrong in the past. And this card is, the key point of this card is, yeah, looking at these spilled cups or like the spilled milk, you might say. But there's still full cups available. All is not lost is the bigger message of this card, I feel. Um, eight of swords. I'm tense. I'm worried. I, a lot of it is in your mind. It's in your head. It's not based in reality. It's not that clear on this deck, but on many cards, like the regular uh, Rider Waite deck, you can see that she's not really trapped in this mess here. She could walk right out. There's a big gap in these swords. She could walk right out of there. But she can't see that because she, in her mind, she's like, no, I'm tied up. I can't move. I can't move. And Ten of Swords, even though it's in reverse, Ten of Swords is pretty harsh energy, honestly. So you got burned. Who hasn't, you know? So you, you got burned somehow along the way. Um, and that's not going to happen this time, or it certainly doesn't have to. I mean, all these obstacles seem to be in your mindset. There's plenty of people here that want to get on board or come along with you or like your ideas or want to go in this direction that you're longing for here. And when you're longing for it and you want it, like the Wheel of Fortune, it's because it probably is your real fate or your destiny. But we're so, sometimes we're so put, you know, uh, put in a box by society. Like, okay, yeah, you got a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Just go to school and get a job that da 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 da, you know, or whatever. Um, or you're too old to do that. You should have, you know, you're, you're, you know, put put aside those childish dreams and get real here. And, and I don't feel like this is coming from any of your outside sources. I think at the time, it's like they're, they're gathering. You know, it's the, here's the mighty forces are coming to your aid in that, you know, be bold and the mighty forces will come to your aid. Well, they're here. They're showing up. There's some people showing up for you. And they're on the same page, and it does feel like it's a team or group effort. A lot of you could be getting a new job, too. Like, maybe you've been in this job for a really long time, and it's just like, well, I only have this much more to go till I get my blah, 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 retirement, pension, or my raise, or I get moved to blah, blah, blah. And this other opportunity is over here just waiting. It feels like you have a lot of doubts about it, and you have a lot of fear and anxiety about it because of past experiences. But this is a new day. And, you know, you guys are very much in your head and very mental. A lot of times you're ahead of your time. A lot of times you have really good ideas, and maybe this is an idea whose time has come. That's what I wanted to say. So I'll leave you with that. Okay, I'm going to move on to the animal totem. What I'm doing, because um, I don't have the cards all the way printed out yet, but I do have, the, we're going to work with the images from my deck. 
And I'm going to go reach in and grab, I had, I had a couple there. i got to just get one. So this is the animal totem for um, Gemini for uh, March of 2015. <laughs> Firefly. Okay, stay tuned. I'll be right back with um, the definition and Firefly and the artwork uh, to go along with that card. I'll be right back. Since childhood, I have been enthralled by the magical lights of the firefly or lightning bugs. When you see the lightning bugs on a summer evening, you can be sure that the fairies are nearby. The light of the firefly is unique to each one and is used to attract a mate. This reminds us that we are sending out our own individual waveforms that can attract or repel others around us. Now, before we go, I want to thank you guys all for donating and uh, liking and sharing my channel and subscribing. And don't forget about my book, Tarot in the Modern World. If you are looking, watching these videos and learning how to read tarot, this is a great book to get for the, uh, sort of like a study guide, I guess you could say. Um, it has all the explanations, upright and reverse, and it also gives um, meanings of how to combine the cards together, because I think that's really important and that's how I do the readings. And if you so, if you like the way I do the readings, then check this out too. Also, don't forget about my other book, Star Seed. It's a fictional novel. Um, under the it's published under the pen name of V. M. Lariv, and this is also for sale on Amazon. If you guys like sci-fi or uh, you know, it's it's out there. It's pretty out there, but you know, um, it could be enjoyable to a lot of people. Um, also, if you go onto my main page under that About section, you can find all the information about how to get a hold of me, how to book a reading, how to order a Tapestry of Life Mandala from your chart, um, how to make a donation through PayPal is there as well. Just click on that uh, Make a Donation Through PayPal button and it'll take you right there. And no amount is too small and no amount is too big. I mean, it's all good. I appreciate every bit of it. And if, so if you enjoy these videos, please uh, take the time to do that. Um, Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.